Hey guys, for today's craft project, you are going to need a metal wreath form from the Dollar Tree. You are also going to need a set of wooden stars. You can locate these at any of your crafting stores like Hobby Lobby or Michaels. You're going to need five sets of clothespins. You can find these at the Dollar Tree or at Dollar General. Dollar General does have a better offer on these clothespins. You will need one or more decorative spools of ribbon. This can be your favorite ribbon or a ribbon of your choice. You're going to need Rust-Oleum's Deep Blue Ultra Cover Spray Paint. You can get this at Home Depot. Also Rust-Oleum's Apple Red Ultra Cover Spray Paint. I used this quick color white spray paint because I had it on hand, but I did go and get the uh, Rust-Oleum's brand also. Begin by placing your clothespins on an old cardboard box, putting enough space between your clothespins so that you can get paint between them. You can move your box around to manipulate it to get the coverage that you're looking for in the nooks and crannies of your clothespins. Also underneath the clothespins, this is just an easy way to keep paint um, also off your hands. Continue with your red and white spray paint, but make sure that you leave ample time for your clothespins to dry between each set. You will need two sets of white clothespins, two sets of your red clothespins, and you will only need one set of the blue clothespins for this project. You will also need a bottle of white acrylic paint for your stars. Go ahead and open up your stars. And for this set of stars, I did have multiple sizes, so I'm going to lay those out so that I can see which ones will best fit my wreath. Once I've laid these out, I decided that the small and medium stars fit the best. As you can tell, the larger stars are a little bit too big for this project, so I'm gonna lay them aside for another project. Begin by applying a generous coat of paint to the top of your stars. You do not really have to do the back of the stars for this project because you will not see them, but you will need to do the sides and edges of your stars so that you don't see that raw wood edge. It will make it look a little bit unfinished. Continue painting all of your stars once they are completely painted, set them aside for them to dry. I decided to use the top of my box to make an organizational tray for my clothespins and my stars. This is totally optional. Remove the tack from your uh, metal wreath. Choose a section of your wreath to start in. I'm going to start with the red clothespins. In the center of that clothespin is a small opening. Shoot glue down inside that small opening. You are going to then open up the mouth of your clothespin and place that small opening with the glue around the second ring of your wreath. Resting the mouth of your clothespin on the center ring. I decided that I liked the look of sets of three clothespins. This is totally an option for you. You can do two clothespins, you can do four clothespins, you can probably go up to five clothespins, but I like things in sets of three, so that is what I decided for my wreath. Each section of these um, red and white clothespins represent the stripes on our flag. So you decide what you want that to look like on your wreath. You can flip it over on the back to make sure that these are lining up properly. Then you will continue with the rest of your red and white clothespins until you get the look you desire.
this does not take a long time. As you can see, even though I've sped up the video, it's still a pretty fast process. Now I'm ready to add my blue clothespins to my wreath. I'm gonna continue this in the same manner that I did the red and white stars, but there will be no sets of three. Obviously, I'm going to make a solid section of blue clothespins. This is totally optional how you do this. You can make it as large or as small as you want. Just make it look how you want it to look in the end. Now that I'm happy with my blue section, I will have to go back and add a section of red clothespins. You will see that I do leave a gap here for my ribbon, but I decided towards the end of the video to go ahead and make that a solid wreath because I decided to put my bow on the opposite side of the wreath. It was just a little bit too busy once I added my stars to the blue section. It's already starting to look more like an American flag. Now that the front of my wreath is complete, I'm going to turn it over and now I'm going to fill in that back section. Nothing will actually go on that top ring, but on the second ring, you will fill in for every three close pins that you had on the front, you will put two close pins behind between each of the gaps. So there you see me going in between two of the close pins in the gap and I'm going to fill in with the same process that I used on the front side of my close pins. Now you will use the second close pin and do the same process. Continue this for all of the red and white clothespins. This does take a little bit more time, but it also goes pretty quickly. With the blue, you're just gonna put one in between each of the gaps behind the blue clothespins. Here you see me adding my stars to the center so that I can kind of decide where I want to put my stars with the diff different sizes. I decided to add my glue to the back of the star. This is totally your choice on where you want to put your stars. I kind of wanted to see mine kind of coming off the wreath a little bit. So I put some on the front and then I had some on that back row kind of like just kind of glued them on the tip of a star so that they would look like they're coming off the wreath. This is a totally your creative process how you wanna see this in the end result. I like things a little bit more whimsical and here you see where I added the three extra white clothespins close to the blue section. It is now time to make our ribbon. I'm going to make two loops and then cut my section off. How you make your bow is totally up to you. This is just how I like to make my bows for things. Then I'm gonna make two loops again, making sure that these two loops are the exact same size cutting my ribbon again. I will go back and add two tails for my bow. You can put these to the side for now. 
We will come back to that. Going back and checking my sizing on my loops one more time to make sure that they are the same length. Now I will fold them in half and then make an X, tying them off with a zip tie. Using a small piece of ribbon, I will fold it into itself, into the middle, and then I'm going to use that to cover up my zip tie. Cut off any excess ribbon that you do not need. Do that with both sides. Make sure that you hold it down long enough to obtain a secure hold. Now taking the tails of your ribbon, glue them to the back of your bow. You will need to hold these down also to obtain a secure hold to the back of your bow. You may trim up any excess that you have. Fluff out your ribbon. Cut your ribbon tails in any way you desire. Then you're going to glue your bow to your wreath. And here we have our finished DIY close pin flag wreath. If you have enjoyed watching today's project, hit that subscribe button and click on the notification bell so you will be notified when I upload my next video. Thanks for watching.